Hello, my beautiful souls. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are blessed. It's your girl, Jalissa, and I'm here to premiere my new candle. This is the spooky candle. It's actually a protection candle. There's nothing spooky about it besides the fact that it has a Halloween design. <laughs> it's giving Frankenstein vibes, and I love it. All right, so I'm going to show you how I made this. Here I am warming up some wax, of course. And here I am picking out the perfect wick for this candle. I'm using the beeswax wick. And I'm also using this glass jar that is going to give you about 10 ounces of wax. I use hot glue to firmly place that wick down in the center of that jar. And to start, we are using my holy oil. Bless. Powerful stuff to bring the Holy Spirit into your space. This is Archangel Spiritual Oil. And then I'm using Yamaya Spiritual Oil. Now these oils together are super powerful. This is Candle Dye. The color is black, but it doesn't give black. <laughs> this is Jamaica Me Crazy Fragrance. Now, how could I describe the smell? It gives tropical, but it's not super sweet. It's smooth, like a smooth tropical day. And here I am pouring some wax into my mix. Pour, pour, pour. <laughs> it's satisfying to watch everything mix in. There I go, flicking my wrist, getting everything mixed in well. And now it is pour time. I'm pouring in that hot wax into the jar. As you can see, there's jars behind these jars, which are cured. Now that is the finished color. It's giving like dark gray. So it looks black when it's liquid form. But once it's cured, it's more of a dark gray look. All right, put the popsicles there to keep the wick in place because you got to keep that wick in the center to have a perfect burn. Here's my label printer. I love my label printer. <laughs> there goes the label. And guys, this is actually a very difficult process, putting on the label, because you want it to be perfect. Well, at least I do. Okay, so it looks easier than um, it actually is. <laughs> Now we got the label on. It's almost there. I love it. Okay. And this is my warning sticker. This sticker is always going to be found at the back of my candles. This sticker warns you on hazards and what you should and shouldn't do when burning a candle, just in case you're new to the game. All right. Look at that. To prevent fire or injury. Yes. Read it. It gives good information. All right, so last time I didn't add my whip process, and this time I decided to add it. So here I am shaving some candle dye. This color is green. So excited. So this candle is great for protection, of course. So if maybe you know this, maybe you don't. Maybe I'm putting you on, but people do shoot out negative energies at times whether this is consciously or subconsciously it's called evil eye and so you want to protect your aura and your energy your home from this evil eye energy so this candle what it does is that it shields you your aura and your place wherever you're burning in it's a powerful candle it's good stuff we always want to protect our aura our home and energy from that evil eye and here I am adding my spiritual oils once again that's the way I start my my mix okay I added a little extra to the whip so the whip is gonna be a little powerful not a little very powerful <laughs> so the candle starts off extremely powerful and then calms down there I'm adding the fragrance this bowl is very big. It may not look so big on camera, but it's really big, guys. And so I'm pouring some wax now. Now, this process is very difficult and very long. So I make a lot of whip at once. That way, I don't have to make it constantly. To save time, 
of course. And here I am stirring the wax and the ingredients while pouring. That should be enough. That's actually a lot. It may not look like a lot, guys, but it is. And here I am stirring, flicking that wrist. It's so satisfying. Doesn't it give, like, Nickelodeon vibes? Slime? It's giving, like, witch's brew. <laughs> Hocus pocus. <laughs> oh, man. It's actually brighter in person, too. But it looks really good. It looks like a green apple. And it smells really good. Kind of like a green apple. All right, so it's time to put it in the fridge. Now, the reason I put it in the fridge is because it takes a while for that much wax to cure. Didn't that just look like a smiley face? I promise you, I did not do that on purpose. It just worked out that way. So this is how the wax looks when I take it out. And um, now whipping it. <laughs> I have to whip it for a while to get that whipped cream texture. It's a process, but it's so worth it because the end result is just so satisfying and beautiful. Yeah, the edges are the toughest to get. But whatever reason, the edges always are are the hardest part to um, blend. This process takes about, I would say, 15, 20 minutes to get the right texture. And because it's so much wax. All right. So here's my pipe bag. I put it in a cup so that way it stays in place when I'm pouring it in. Actually scooping it in. It looks like ice cream, right? Like mint ice cream. <laughs> I acted like I was going to lick it there. Because <laughs> it just smells so good. And then it actually looks like real whip. All right. Here I am pouring that whip into the candle. Wow. This is very satisfying, guys. I need to do an ASMR on this. That's next. All right, so here I am. Wow, it's so pretty. It looks like a flower. I'm adding some sprinkles to give it a fizzazz, of course. And here we are, guys. Look at it. Four hours later. <laughs> nah, it was more like five. But look at the end result. It's so worth it. So beautiful. And made just for you. Oh, look at me taking a bath with it. Just so you can see. Blah. 